this we swiped again. We're going to get to these bottom ones in a little bit, but there's calculate. there are calculators, a lot of them. This particular one, I'm not going to turn it because of the camera, but if you turned it to the horizontal position, it would go ahead and give you a scientific calculator. Another Adobe idea is another way of writing things down, sketching things out. A dictionary to look up words, word search game. This one's kind of a neat game for elderly or whoever who do, does word searches. It'll come up with a game. If you want to resume your game, no, just want a new one. And you rotate it, and then you'll see the word list on this side when you rotate it this way around. I'm just not going to show you this now. Don't want to ruin the camera angle for the rest of this presentation. Crossword puzzles. And tap on the puzzle or the keys there. And it says down, blend or harmonize. I don't know, whatever that word is we put in there. If you want to take a uh, hint, here's a question mark. Go. Okay, I guess go was blend or harmonize. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, there's another word finder. There's a word adventure, easy cards, some, uh, several games, card games, obviously solitaire games, a couple of those. The piano is really pretty neat. It gives you two rows of piano keys that you can change where you're at on, where you're at on the keyboard. I know you like that right away. You heard it and you liked it. That's Virtuoso Piano and it was, I believe, free uh, or really cheap if it wasn't free. I think it might have been free. A cooking timer. Just turn it and it started already. 11.59.57. Let's get it down really close to finish. Five, four, three, two, one. You can change the different styles of the clock, the classic is just fine. And then you have another timer, of course, some alarm. Notice I just swiped again, we have a whole other set of icons. These are all the book reader icons. That Shakespeare one was free and there's actually some content with it. The Amazon Kindle is there. Uh, we're Wattpad, Sherlock. Here's a full Bible and you also with this Bible can select what versions you want to download and you can use it offline. You don't have to constantly work up. You can select Bible verses and email a Bible verse to a friend. That could be, get really annoying if you do that a lot. But a uh, very nice, very nice Bible application for free. A, a bowling game you want to know, let's just play a new game, play it, and it's actually a shuffleboard with pins at the end instead. That is the best shot I've ever made on this. But very interesting uh, and fun. The dice, I use this at a nursing home, and go ahead and put the dice out there just by touching them and then hit roll. Let's say we want a six, four, three, two, because we're going for a straight. We want to get a five. I knew this wouldn't work for me to win. Up, uh, four. So Yahtzee only get two throws, so it looks like I just have fours there. Oh, as far as the other, there are other dice on that game as well for making decisions, yes, no. Labyrinth is when you can move the ball by using the leveler type of accelerometers inside and let's go back let's see I just wanted to hit play let's just play um, just play five levels now on the ones that are hooked made for iPhone there's a 1x 2x in the corner and that way you get 2x and you be a taller so if I laid this iPad flat that ball would then be pretend it's on a flat surface and you can roll it around and try not to fall in those holes and you do different things with them. There's several of those kinds of game, those kinds of games out there. Now, I'm going to show you that I didn't really want this other piano one because we had that other piano one that was just so awesome. So even though I have downloaded this free piano, I'm going to get rid of it by just holding my finger on there for a while. 
They all start wiggling. Everything's wiggling. That means it's ready to move. I can move it around. I can move it over to this other screen. I can move it back. Just hold it halfway on. And halfway off of that screen, it'll move all the way to wherever you want it. You just let go. And then to stop it, everything's wiggling. You hit that magic button again down there. It's, you might not be able to see it. It's right along in here. It's an actual physical button. Go ahead and touch this again. I really do want to get rid of it. I'm going to hit X. Did I really want to delete it? I want to delete it. Uh, do I want to rate whether it was good or not? No. I'm just getting rid of it. Stop everything from wiggling. Now, Labyrinth. Uh, looks like a casino game for Blackjack. All those are very, very good too. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, this one's a magnetometer. This one will tell you all sorts of things about the magnetic spurt and its declination, all that good stuff. It's almost, it follows, you see there's an accelerometer, there's a magnetometer. I don't know exactly how to use this thing, so I uh, just thought I'd show it exists for some of you real scientific folks like me, but I just don't know how to use it. Caliper for measuring, and I don't know how you can just measure something, I guess. Set it on the screen, that's 6.12 far as that's opening up. So I guess that'd be fun for someone. The An alarm HD is supposed to make a big noise if you activate it and you left it on the uh, like McDonald's table and you went to do some, get a napkin and someone tries to take it. At least you'll hear them and you'll see them running out the door. Maybe you can get a description. Document tools for reading different documents. I haven't set this iPod up with much for Microsoft Office type productivity, your spreadsheets, word processing, etc. So that won't be in this presentation. Speed test, it's a speed test your connections. So for the Wi-Fi connection, we could test it. I'm not going to run a test now or the 3G. Again, this is a 3G iPod. I'm just not using 3G right now. Actually, let me show you. Wi-Fi, this is the general settings. It has settings for all of your main programs. It has some of your applications listed down in there. It has your, those are ones I believe, are not sure if they're running or not. But anyway, so if I want to go switch to 3G, I go ahead and move that off to on. And go ahead and move the Wi-Fi off. And we're good to go by cellular. It shows up here at 3G. Since I want this presentation to go fairly quickly, We'll go back to Wi-Fi just for a little extra speed. It really works well. I just I'm at an angle and I'm not touching the screen correctly. There, if we're back up with that. Shows the Wi-Fi and you're good to go. All sorts of uh, mail, contacts, calendars, all your different settings, things like that. So uh, I don't dwell on those things because possibly personal information on the screen, so I stay away from them for the camera. This is an I, a banner. It's scrolling. It says, keep your hands clean. Mom's iPad. It's just a fun little LED scroll thing. Obviously, you turn it in the other direction. The Survive Now is an emergency type one, so an elderly or whatever can tap it real quick or something. Actually, if it shakes real bad or something like that, it will call a contact for you and let that send out a text message or, and those kinds of things. Um, files light, or okay, files in there. It's application driven, not file server driven. So if you're looking at applications all the time, you're not seeing lists of files. <coughs> Much easier. Memory free, I think I'm forgetting. Oh, this is more of a hiking and mapping type application. It actually really is awesome. And uh, if you go out hunting, things like that, you'd be able to. It's not bringing up a map right now. I'm, I'm not sure. Probably because I didn't allow it to check my current location. So that's 